All right, well, we are back today with another video, and it is another gorgeous day up here on Leech Lake. The last two videos you guys saw we shot yesterday. One video kind of finessing some fish in the afternoon. First uh, video two days ago now, for if you guys are watching this now, um, was kind of a morning beatdown we had on a big pile of eaters. And uh, today we got a little bit more wind, possibly once we get up there. And uh, we're hoping to kind of go back and catch a bunch more really nice Leech Lake walleyes. We're just leaving Horseshoe Bay Lodge. And I always say this every time I stay up here. I absolutely love Leech Lake. One of my favorite places to come and visit. We'll link them down below. Horseshoe Bay Lodge up here on Leech, very centrally located. And a uh, great place, great launch point for a fall walleye fisherman. And that's what we're gonna do today. And uh, we're gonna buzz out. We got a little run to make. Not gonna talk too much because you guys kind of know the game plan. Go out, jig a bunch of these shallow water Leech Lake walleyes and uh, have a blast. So we got a couple hours this morning to fish, so stay tuned. We're gonna blast off, catch some fish. to talk really loud in case this mic got broken <laughs> we got some wind on the north end which is good for our bite and uh south wind today so we kind of ran up north hoping to kind of capitalize and uh, a lot of times the wind will kind of lock these fish tighter to a break you'll get them a little bit more concentrated and normally they'll bite a little bit better not that they weren't biting good yesterday but um, we really had to finesse a lot more yesterday where if we can put plastics on and just bomb cast today that'd be phenomenal but we'll see if that's going to be the case First thing we're gonna do is put the trolling motor down. And uh, second thing we're gonna do is hopefully find a bunch of fish here that are ready to bite. So I think we might maybe start with one live bait and one plastic or both start with plastics. We'll just see how it goes and go from there. All right, well, it doesn't quite look as good as we were absolutely hoping it would. There's definitely fish here, but um, not quite as many as I was thinking there'd be, but there's definitely enough to catch a few here. So before we start hauling around looking for some other kind of thing, we're gonna take a few casts. And uh, as predicted, they're kind of, you know, it's a big, long flat. So this will come, you know, three feet to eight feet and then real flat for a, a long, long ways. And um, they're definitely tucked up tighter to it today, which is a good sign. I'm um, just not quite seeing as many fish as I kind of thought we, we possibly would. It's looking right too, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. That's how we want to start the day. Those are big head shakes. Big slow head shakes. That's what we want right there. Well, about three, four casts in, we got number one. And if this is a walleye, it's huge. I think it probably is a really big walleye the way it's slow head shaking. I think it is a walleye. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a big old walleye. Oh man, look at that one. Look at that one I started. There we go. What's we gonna catch one? <laughs> How long is that, 26? It's a nice fish. I feel like I haven't measured one in so long. It's about as good as it gets though. Look at that. That's the way you wanna start the morning right there. <laughs> it's not bad for breakfast. Too much fun out here. Awesome. Back he goes. We hope to do it many more times today. Get away from him. Look at that. Right there. <laughs> I was watching him come up from the front on 360 and 
turned sideways and with the wind it kind of we just kind of drifted right into them and i literally just saw him go under the boat on 360 drop it right behind the boat twitched it a couple times <laughs> double and we got two of them look at that that's the way the game's supposed to work and that's what we marked that is what yeah we literally saw four fish there i think we caught two there's one nice one eater size one to start you got a little better one a little bit better nice we'll scoop them up scoop them up so this spot's not quite as thick with fish as we were kind of hoping it would be but uh just okay. show him up to the front but we're definitely catching a few and one thing I've learned with 360 is that you can turn not a lot of fish on a spot into a lot of fish by just uh, being able to see and pitch at every fish. Well, we mark two and we talk two. Yep. <laughs> There. <laughs> Man, we spent a little while casting at those ones. My hopes and dreams of just using a plastic today just kind of fizzled out when Steve caught the first one just crawling a jig. But um, I'll like scoop them up. We're just kind of doing the same, you know, picking them off the 360. Business as usual out here. You know, just kind of hunting down these little pods of fish. And uh, sometimes we'll, you know, we'll get cast into a pod. We'll each catch one right away. Other times it might, you know, take five, six casts until we get one. But we are getting them. There's no go. Another nice, super, super healthy fish out here on the beach. Absolutely awesome little pattern we got going on. So I'm go. See you later, buddy. Back for more. We are just really twitching these things. You know, your general jig cast. You know, you're moving that bait real far linearly in shallow water like this and i kind of talked about this in a couple videos ago i did but we're just kind of sitting there and almost just kind of twitching it like you would if you're fishing like a ned rig for bass or like a drop shot picking it up just kind of popping it like that letting it fall back down and just trying to really keep that bait in those fish for as long as possible and it might just be like bait fish overload this whole area the surface of the water is just full of these little minnows like this and i think they're just kind of probably gorging themselves on that and Keeping a bait in their face for a long time seems to be the deal. Man, they're just moving a lot. You got them? Yeah. They are moving a lot today. Another nice fish. And uh, we haven't been fishing for super long. We're catching some nice fish. They are moving around a lot more today. So yesterday is kind of flat calm and we'd get on them and they'd kind of just be sitting there. Today we're doing a lot. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> missed our double opportunity. Doing a lot more of this uh, kind of, we just got to keep moving and moving and moving and really staring at that 360 to get them to bite, but catching plenty of them. There we go. Yeah, black on the tail end of us. So we got a bunch more fish out there. Uh, you know, one of the biggest things, as we've been fishing today, the, the fish's attitude and behavior has really changed a lot. And, uh, you know, right when we first got out here this morning, it was like you'd pitch into those fish and you'd get that bite. And, uh, you know, that's obviously what you want it to be. You want to be pitching to those fish, getting that bite, getting that immediate reaction out of those fish when your bait gets in the zone. And as the day's gone on, it's been much different from now. And uh, now it's taken generally multiple pitches. You got to make sure you're absolutely right in those fish. They're not tracking that jig now. We're not getting any hard, those real hard thump bites anymore. It's a lot of those just pick up, wait on the rod, fish on. And one thing you can do, you know, if you're just, even if you're just fishing live bait in a minnow, is go to something with a different fall speed and generally lighter, especially when we're up here in shallow. You know, we start with quarter we fished a lot of quarter yesterday and in eight to 15 feet of water you know that's generally quarter is kind of the way to go but a lot of times you know when we're doing this thing where we're not necessarily needing to cover water we're just trying to stay in those fish going to something like an eighth ounce a little bit lighter a little bit slower fall it can be something that'll put more fish in the boat and you know even lighter than that it's not always just those two sizes if you're doing a lot of pitching in a shallow stain system and 
three to seven feet of water and you're using eighth ounce and everything go down to a 16th ounce something that just kind of hangs there gets a lot wispier and a lot more natural in the water column so you know jig weight super important jig weight is ultimately how a lot of times you know the difference between catching a few fish and catching a lot of fish in the day doing something like downsizing going lighter or vice versa let's say you're fishing a lot of quarter ounce in uh, 15 feet of water and these fish are very reaction driven and uh, going to a three ace and snapping it around a lot more and going a lot faster can be the deal so it goes both ways but make you know a kind of conscious idea about jig weight and if you do find fishing either slow or good you know a lot of times you can go up in jig weight or go down in jig weight to ultimately catch more fish look at that <laughs> just pitched out at three fish and got one to bite right there <laughs> man this gorgeous fish up here too Steve just said right before I set the hook how to take 112,000 acres and break it down to 80 feet of water. <laughs> this is a 360 game right there. Unbelievably effective. And I already just know we're going to get this common in the video because we've been getting in every video where we use 360, which is 360 is going to destroy fishing. Well, got to be releasing fish never been more important than it is right now to release fish you're going to come out and keep every fish you're going to do it with 360 or without 360. some people just have to keep every fish they catch but just with increased angling pressure information and everything else you know you can't just if you want to be catching walleyes five years down the road in your favorite lake you got to be letting fish go now and there he is <laughs> decent fish so much. Look at that. Well, we are beating them up this morning. Oh this is so beating them up. I'll just grab them for you. Now look at that. I mean, just so endless cool. leech lake walleyes on the jig. I love absolutely. Oh, there he goes. He's crazy. There's nothing more fun than eight feet of water. I know. Look at that. I absolutely love leech lake. Full of fish, shallow water fishery, easily one of my favorite places to walleye fish, especially this time of year. Kind of uh, left popular spot number one, and uh, then we went to a community spot. And couldn't leave quick enough. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. <laughs> I uh, wanted to, uh, you know, I have very little. I mean, the leech is so big, and there's so many different areas to fish. Kind of wanted to see what the community spot was all about, and what it was about was a lot of people in there, and. Uh, Whenever you get a lot of boats in shallow water, it's normally not as good for the fishing, believe it or not. So we kind of ran a couple miles down the lake, and there we go. Back on the board, another nice walleye. Right basically onto the boat. I mean, pitched them super tight to them, and uh, just kind of working that jig in place, and letting the fish kind of make up their mind and eat it. And there we go. Back he goes. fish cooperated enough yeah and because the fish cooperated enough we are done for uh, our little leech lake adventure and uh, obviously phenomenal fishing caught an absolute ton of walleyes tons of bite. it was really good bite <laughs> and way up shallow I mean you can't complain about that fish of all sizes you know runs to that mid eater size to that upper end of the eater size and then some big fish as well so super fun time hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed these leech lake videos I mean obviously kind of the secret for out here was um, moving around with the trolling motor, seeing fish, spot locking, staring at them on 360 and side imaging, short pitching to them, and uh, working jigs like that. And anytime I can fish in shallow water with a jig, I'm a happy walleye fisherman. So I appreciate you guys watching. We're going to blast out of here. I don't know where we'll be next. I know Shelby's got a day off and she wants to go fishing, so we might, 
I don't know if we're going to be back up here, where we're going to go, but we'll definitely be filming and doing some walleye fishing. So I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely check out Horseshoe Lake Lodge if you guys are going to come up here to Leech. There's a ton of fall left. Water temp's still warm. You know, fishing's still amazing, and it's only really going to get better as this water temp tanks. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.